The Ministry of Education continuing their annual Bahamas Young Chef High School Culinary Competition. Our Crystal Darling tells us more about the most recent showdown at the Anatole Rogers High School. Eight students went head-to-head -head in this year's 25th annual Ministry of Education Young Chef High School Culinary Competition. The challenge to make flour and rice dishes. Ministry of Education Family and Consumer Science Officer Raquel Turnquist talks about competition guidelines. You would find that this competition is only open to family and consumer science students who have had some prior training. Students within the program uh, normally partner with um, industry chefs and they look at the indigenous food products that we have um, within the Commonwealth of the Bahamas and they look at how can they transform those food items, whether it's uh, items grown on the land or at sea. Contestants were selected from six senior high schools in the capital and judged by Bahamas Culinary Association chefs. Head judge Gerald Roll was the first ever Young Chef High School Competition champion. He lets us in on how the event impacted his life. It's exciting. Um, it was a lot of fun. Um, it was a lot of hard work. Um, but coming up to the program, like I say, it's, it's, it's a stepping stone for you. Um, so it's the foundation. So for you to um, start here um, and then get end result becoming what you want to be exactly chef or a chef or just being in the industry is um, a, a big accomplishment. And students are allowed to get quite creative when deciding what to cook. Some of them even going as far as to concoct original recipes. And for my flower dish, I chose a guava bean pancake. Uh, the pancake is a spin-off from, from the guava duck. And who you knows guava is from in Bahamas backyards. It was it was really an experience. At the beginning, it was very calm. It was like you have a lot of time, and you know, calm. And then came back in the room, and then it was very fast. Like something was happening, and didn't play yet. But then we had extra time because of the person on um, next contestants in the room that were playing. So that is what actually saved me. And in the end, a Catherine High School student, Sia Wright, came out on top for her coconut-infused lentil brown rice and salad and a layered guava pudding with chocolate mousse and a caramel bar. I'm really excited that I won because that's not something that I was going into the competition expecting at all. I'm just expecting to go and I cook the food. But I think that the feedback that I got from my coaches and the judges and everybody it's really going to help me move forward in the competition. The competition continues at Anatole Rogers High School on Monday and Tuesday with a virtual culinary conference. The Ministry of Education is inviting all schools with family and consumer science education programs to register and attend sessions featuring local and international chefs. Students will also have the opportunity to ask questions. Crystal Darling, Sadness Network News.